pressure okay once more i'll explain about the pressure no worries we'll also study about the pressure dissipated by the fluids how do the fluids exert pressure that also we'll study so here pressure it is defined as thrust per unit area thrust per unit area is called pressure so we write pressure as we can write evaluate pressure as p equals f by a so which is force per unit area that is what we call pressure here we obtained the si unit si unit of pressure is newton per meter square since force is measured in newton and area is measured in meter square the meter is the meter square is the si unit for area if you are given somewhere area in centimeter square so do contact uh, uh do convert it into cent, uh, meter square so this will makes si unit as newton per meter square so this newton per meter square it has another name which is called pascal so newton per meter square and pascal they are the same so here from this context we learned that pressure is inversely proportional to area that means if you have apply same amount of force i consider here suppose i have a board over here and on this wooden board i give you two substances okay i give you a nail and i give you a ball or let's say we have a some cube over here so let's say we have a cube now i want to push both of them or suppose i apply a certain force on to both of them so here also i put some weights and on the nail also i put some weights so here also i put some weights here also i put some weight that means i am applying some force here here i am exerting some force here also i am applying some amount of force so since the pin the area of the pin is smaller but the area of this block is bigger the area of the block is bigger so that is why here since even if the force is same so in which case will you have lesser amount of pressure in first case or in second case second case yeah in the second case you will have lesser amount of pressure but in the first case here you will have more pressure so the reason being here we have less area and here we have more area so that is why if we compare pressure so in this one in the first one you will have more pressure pressure will be high and in the second one here pressure will be low you will have low pressure so i think up to now everyone has understood the context of pressure yes sir yes sir okay. so here everyone has understood about what, uh, what is pressure now we'll move on pressure exerted by fluids so we are mainly going to study about the fluids and fluids include both liquids and gases so we'll have pressure exerted by fluids Okay. So all the fluids they exert a pressure on the walls of the container in which they are put. How do we know? Can anyone tell me any activity? See, okay, I'll tell you a few of the activities. If you can tell, that's very good. Otherwise, I'll be telling you. So pressure exerted by fluids. Your first point, I say that fluids exert pressure exert pressure on the walls of the container.
So all fluids, they exert pressure on the walls of the container in which they are kept. For example, suppose you take a water bottle. So here, if I take a, a water bottle, let's see, take a real water bottle. So once I take a real water bottle here, Okay. So here, uh, if you have a water bottle, and we can we find out here that the water bottle on uh, it has some it has water inside. So the water which is filled inside it exerts pressure on the walls of the container. Everywhere on the walls of the container it exerts pressure. That means it tries to come out object. So here you have the water, and the water tries to come out through the walls of the container. Hence, it pushes the walls of the container. So, uh, to study this, suppose I make some holes. I create some holes on this water bottle. So, I create a hole over here. So, I create certain holes. Let's say I create a hole here. Then another hole here. Another hole here. So, these are certain holes which I create on this bottle at the same height. So, remember, all the holes... They are on the same height. So what I will observe? Can I observe water from it coming out like this? Water to come out of the holes? Yes, sir. Yes. Water will come out of all the holes like this. So why does the water come out? Sir, because fluid is at the pressure. Yeah. Because the water which is inside it, it is exerting a pressure on the wall of the container. It is pushing the container. It is pushing the bottle in the outside direction. Okay. Since it is pushing it on the wall, on the outside direction, but not finding any space to move. But when I create a hole in it, so it finds some space to come out. Okay. Sir, for and example, hence, water coming out of tap. Yeah. So the water here comes out. It's because fluids exert pressure on the walls of the container. And we will also observe one more very important phenomena here. That the distance to which the liquid falls from any of the holes will be the same. The distance to which water falls on through any of the holes which are at the same height, so that distance will also be same. It will not happen that through some hole water falls. Okay. Yes. So through some hole water falls to a smaller distance. Through some hole water falls to a larger distance. This is not, this will not happen. Through all the holes water will fall through the same distance. Now in the, similar to this, if I do another activity, let's try to do another activity here. So with the same water bottle, now I create hole something like this. Suppose I create a hole on the top, then I create a hole over here, then I create a hole over here. Okay. So which of them will go for the maximum distance? Sir, the down one, sir. The sir, the top one. one. Yeah. Sir, bottom see, one, sir. Sorry, sorry, the bottom one. The bottom uh -huh. one. Okay, see. Here. The pressure through them, the pressure over here, the pressure at this hole, the pressure at this hole, and the pressure at this hole. The pressure at the last hole will be the maximum, and water will come out with the maximum speed through the last hole. It will come fastest from here. The water will come fastest from here, and from here it will come slowest. Because the pressure is directly proportional to... The pressure is directly proportional to the height. Okay. So greater the height, greater will be the pressure. So understood these two points. First of all, all the fluids, they exert pressure on the walls of the container. A similar thing happens when we inflate balloons. So if you are inflating balloon, you are filling in air continuously. So the air that you fill in, it exerts pressure on the walls of the container and causing it to expand. Right? So isn't that the reason why balloons expand? 
sir? Yes. Sir, if there's pressure more at the uh, top one, then uh, why won't we? Why won't it go to the longest? No distance. You forget about the distance. Distance is another thing. Just think of the velocity with how fast the water is coming. So that's what I'm going with the speed. Oh, okay. The speed with which the water comes out, the speed with which water comes out will be the fastest from the bottom and slowest from the top. Okay. Because okay. to study distance, you need to have two more fa uh, factors are there. So leave that. You can check the speed and the speed will be directly proportional to the pressure. All right. Yes, Gagana? Yes, sir. Okay. So here you have the pressure is being exerted in all the directions. Here you have the pressure uh, exerted from the top is less and from the bottom is maximum. Okay. So these points are clear about pressure. Now uh, we saw here the case of balloon. So can anyone ex explain why do balloons expand? So because the uh, more pr uh, more air we put into it, it keeps moving. It keeps putting force to the walls of the balloon, so it keeps expanding. Yeah. So balloons expand because the air inside it. So balloons expand because when we fill in air inside it, so that air causes pressure on the walls of the container, on the walls of the balloon to expand it. Okay. And if you still go on keeping, keep filling in air, so pressure will increase too much so that the balloon will not be able to handle it. Your balloon will, your balloon will burst out. Okay. So I hope uh, all of you have understood about these two phenomena of pressure. Let us try out another a few activities. The next activity will tell us that a moving air causes a uh, causes decrease of pressure. So this one is a very important phenomena. We have moving air causes. Decrease of pressure. Okay. So if you look up at your NCRT, there are a number of activities which are given in NCRT which you can try. Okay. So I will try, I will give you a few of the activity which you can try just now. If you have a piece of paper, okay, you can take a piece of paper, uh, keep it in front of your mouth just below your mouth and blow air above it. Just blow air above it. Just uh, uh, one minute, I'm, I'll show you how it happens. Okay. So you can take a small paper of uh, half a paper. That means you can take something like this. Uh, just one minute. I need to set Okay, can you uh, see this uh, paper? You have to keep this paper something like this in front of your mouth hanging like this and just blow air over here. Why does the paper straighten up? You have to blow air above it. And why does the paper flap and come up like this? See, you can try it. You can try it. You can keep a paper like this. Hold it. Okay, don't fold it. Just keep it over here. See, I have what I have holded here. You can just hold it here. And from here, if you blow air. So, there I go. So, why does the paper come like this? Why it becomes like this? What? I'm not blowing it from the bottom. I'm blowing it from the top. I'm blowing the air above it. See? So, has anyone of you tried to do this activity?
Has any one of you done this activity? Yes, I'm not getting any answers. Sreshta, Kolepra, Gagana, Sai Karthik, all your cameras are off. So, is there any answer? Did you try to do this activity? You can try it out no, in, at any time. Sir, I did, but then when I blew it, I bow it actually went down. It didn't come up. No, you are blowing the air below it. If you blow the air below it, then you will get You just keep it below your mouth and blow the air. So, the paper will straighten up. The paper has to be like this. You just blow the air, the paper comes here. Okay. Okay. Anyways, you can try it out. So, the reason I will tell you. The reason is that moving air causes decrease of pressure. When air blows, so from there, we have decrease of pressure. Pressure decreases from there. Okay. A similar thing can also happen with two balloons. I'll, I will also tell you the example of two balloons. Okay. So if you have two balloons, something like this, let us inflate two balloons. You can try it out later at your home and tie the two balloons with the help of string. Inflate two balloons, keep them very close to each other like this. Uh, let's keep them a few distance apart, about a few centimeter. Let us keep them about two to five centimeter. Let's keep them five centimeter away from each other. There is a distance between them. Okay. Now, what do you think will happen if I pass air through it? If I blow air from here? If I uh, not from the bottom, just one second. I'll blow from uh, I'll blow from a uh, hair straight over here in between these. So what will happen? Okay, Pranava, I will get uh, I I will explain this with this experiment. I'll give you one more experiment you can try out. Okay, so then only uh, then I will explain. Yes. Can you repeat the question once more? See, you have these two balloons, okay, and they are separated by some some distance of five centimeter, okay. Now, if you blow air be, through between them, I blow air uh, in between them. So, what will happen? Will the balloon move like this, or will the balloon move like this? What will happen? So they will move away. Yeah. So we think that the balloons will move away. But actually, the balloons come closer to each other. That's because the pressure decreases. Yes, because when you are blowing air and moving air causes the pressure to decrease. Okay, so when you blow air, air starts moving through it, here pressure decreases. Here you will be having low pressure and here you will have high pressure. So as a result, balloons will not move away from each other they will move towards each other. They will be pressed towards each other. They will move like this. Okay. There is still one activity which you can try out at your home also. At your home, you can try at, uh, that activity also. Okay. So that one is with the help of a water bottle. Uh, that a uh, simple water bottle which I had shown you a previous one here. So such a water bottle you have to take, okay? There should not be anything in this. You just empty it. It should be empty. And make a ball of paper. Make a small ball of paper and keep it over here. Just I'll show you how to do this activity. Uh, just one minute. I'll show you the diagram how to perform the activity. If possible, I will try this okay in uh, if it's possible today so i'll do it today or in the next class i'll show you how uh, what happens over here so this is your paper
पेपर बॉल एंड बॉटल एक्सपेरिमेंट फॉर प्रेशर जस्ट वन मिनट इफ आई एम एबल टू फाइंड इट आउट आई विल शो इट टू यू राइट नाउ और ओके या सो दिस वन दिस इज हाउ यू हैव टू परफॉर्म see uh you have to uh, keep it like this take a water bottle and make a simple paper ball over here and keep it at the neck of this keep this paper ball uh, at the neck of this and then try to uh, try to blow this paper into the bottle okay this you have to try to blow it into the bottle something like this see this student is try trying he is trying to blow okay so in this way you have to blow the paper inside this so how many of you take the challenge that they will be able to do it you just have to blow air and by blowing air by blowing air you have to push this through your blow this paper should go inside the water bottle remember your bottle has to be kept horizontal not tilted just keep it horizontal like this and blow air into it sir will it go in sir or it will not go so that's the challenge okay so how many of you think that it will go inside sir i think it will come out say sir yes it will not go inside it will come out if you blow Because air through decreases yeah if you blow air so outside you have moving air here you will have moving air all the air that you blow so that air passes off and when the air passes off you have air low pressure and inside the bottle you will have high pressure as a result the paper will be pushed out and not inside okay so you have to if you blow the air if you try to uh, force it inside by blowing air the paper will not go out because increased air is air velocity when the air velocity increases so then there is a decrease of pressure so here you will have decrease of pressure got it everyone uh, okay anyone having any doubts okay pranav you can try you can try it out take a bottle okay similar to that that bottle should be next one okay try it out you will get the same results you will not be able to push that even if even if the, uh, you have some other bottle you can try it out you can try it out with some other bottle Okay. the paper will not go inside it will come outside okay there is a uh, see initially the pressure inside and outside they both are the same but when you start blowing air pressure outside decreases and pressure inside becomes high so that's the reason yes pranav you have raised your hand okay yes see okay see moving air can cause decrease of pressure just as i showed you with this paper when i blow from the top when i blow air from the top with a speed like this so you see paper comes from the bottom it becomes a straight like this okay so this phenomena why it occurs because when i blow air above it when i blow blow the air above it so what happens the pressure above it is decreased whereas pressure below the paper is high initially both the sides pressure is same but when i start blowing air so pressure on the top decrease decreases and pressure below it increases as a result it becomes straight okay Pre the high pressure from the bottom pushes the paper just parallel like this
Now the same phenomena is used in aeroplanes. The same phenomena is used for aeroplanes. The aeroplanes have been designed in such a way that from the top, the speed of air will be higher and below the aeroplane, the speed of air will be lower. Okay. So what will happen? Above it, air will move rapidly and below it, air will move slowly. So above the aeroplane, you will have low pressure. Below the aeroplane, you will have you will have high pressure. So as a result, aeroplane will take a lift. Yes, Charantesh? Sir, as you turn over to keep the bottle horizontally, if we keep it vertically, what will it happen, sir? Yeah, okay. If you keep it vertically, so when you are, uh, if if you have a just little bit of tilt over there, okay. So initially the paper will not go, okay. But when you stop blowing, when you stop blowing, then due to gravity, the paper may go inside. Okay, sir. Okay. So that is why you have to keep the uh, bottle horizontal. That's the only reason. Okay. Now the same thing happened with the paper. The same thing happens during... Uh, Pranava, your mic is not working and I'm not able to get your doubt clearly. Okay. So, I think that you have understood up to this. I'm not able to get what you are... Uh, okay, fine. Thank you, Pranava. Sir. Yes, Gagana. Sir, uh, I'm still having a doubt in that uh, the whole the, uh, plastic bottle. Okay, this is okay. So, this one okay, filled with a bottle that uh, water coming out of it, yes, sir. Okay, you are confused with how much distance will it go? Like, uh, how, how much pressure is applied uh, to make it the longest distance? Uh, just one minute, and uh, let's have this one. Okay, so what you're saying about this. At which point, uh, sir, you said that the, where the uh, the pressure is high, lowest mm -hmm. at the top. Okay. So, at point 3, you will have high pressure. Okay, at point 3, you have high pressure. And at point 1, you have low pressure. Okay. Okay. So, the reason, the reason being pressure is directly proportional to height. Height of water column above it. So height of uh, it's, it happens in our daily life also. So we are on the surface of Earth. We are having some. We are experiencing some atmospheric pressure. If we go climb up a mountain, so you have studied that in the mountainous regions, the air pressure is low. Yes, sir. Okay. So that is because of the height of air has decreased. It's it's just like this that this is your Earth. And around the earth, air is filled. Okay. So you have certain height of air above it. And if you move to a certain mountain, so the height here is less. For this, the height of atmosphere is less. And if you are on the surface, the height of atmosphere is more. Okay. So that's the reason. In the hilly areas, you will be experiencing less air pressure. And on the surface of earth, you will have you will experience a high atmosphere. Any other doubts? So, so it means like the higher the pressure, it, it is the fastest and it will fall at the longest point. The longest part I am not saying. Not longest. Do not go to the longest. Again, I am saying. We am just talking slowest and fastest. Okay, sir. Okay. We are not going longest and shortest. There, because why we are not going for the longest and shortest? There are two reasons. Uh, this you will get to know in your higher classes that where will it fall because here pressure is high here pressure is low the velocity here will be low here the velocity will be high but it has to come a shorter distance before falling whereas this has to travel a larger distance before falling okay sir 
Okay. So, uh, so those are just uh, you can expect in your grade uh, 11th to understand that where will it fall. But yes, currently we can talk of how fast it will come out. Okay, sir. Understood. Thank okay. you. Okay. Anyone else having any doubt? Yeah, yeah. Pranava says it, it involves trigonometry. It involves a lot of factors. Okay. It involves a two-dimensional motion studied as a projectile. Okay. So that you will be studying later. But currently what we are studying here is decrease of pressure. Moving air causes a decrease of pressure. So just now we studied this experiment of water bottle or blowing air, blowing air through a water bottle. So if you try to blow air through a water bottle like this boy is doing, you will not be able to get the paper inside. Okay. Then I told you this paper activity. Just one minute. Uh, show me this one also. That's the one which I showed you with the paper. Okay, so this one activity which we just did, this was the activity which I just showed to you. You have to take your paper like this below your mouth and blow air above it. So if you blow air above it, the paper will become straight like this. Once you start blowing, once you stop blowing, so the paper comes to its original position. This was also the activity which we added, which we did this time. Okay. So I hope uh, you will try to do this paper activity. You, so if you find somewhere a balloon, sometime you find time. So you can try out this balloon activity also. So from all the activities, we learn that increase, decrease in pressure or moving air causes decrease of pressure. Okay. A similar phenomena happens during thunderstorms. During a uh, fast moving winds or you have cyclones or let's say you have thatched the roof. So if you have thatched the roof like this, okay, so you have your thatched roofs. Like this, you have thatched the roofs. Now, uh, suppose you have a, a stone so that you have fast moving air, you air starts blowing from here rapidly. Air blows from here rapidly. So what do you think will happen? Have you ever observed that the thatched roof moves away? It is blown away with by the fast moving air? Yes? yes so the sir. reason being the reason being why it's blown away is that when the air moves above this house, when the air moves through this, so what happens? Here, air moves faster, but inside the house, the air is not moving. So inside the house, the air is not moving, but outside the air is moving. So what happens? Here, you will be having low pressure. There will be a decrease of pressure on the outside. Here, you will have low pressure. And here you will have high pressure. Got it? Initially, the pressure on both the sides was same, but here you have a low pressure. Here you will have high pressure when air starts blowing above it. As a result, due to high pressure, the thatched roof will experience more force from the bottom up towards the top, and hence it will move up. Okay, hence it will be blown away. Got it? Anyone having any doubts in these activities? You can try out some of these activities and then we'll be discussing some more with these in the next class. We'll also discuss about the atmospheric pressure.
Okay. So I'm giving you one minute if you want to ask anything, anyone having any doubt. So something like this happens. You can see. Higher velocity causes the pressure to decrease. Okay, this is how your paper works. This paper activity, it is how it works. So it will be available to you. You can check it out, all these activities. So see how it happens. When air passes through here, here rapidly, so here we have higher velocity means lower pressure. Here you will have lower pressure and from the bottom you will have higher pressure. So because of the higher pressure, the, pa the paper will be pushed upward. Okay. So bye everyone. See you again in next class. Yes, Yes. Okay, bye. Bye, sir. Bye. bye.